Ever wonder what your pulse water pressure is? We're going to find out today. I'm going to go ahead and hook up a uh, 0 to 100 PSI gauge on there and see what it reads. Seventy, it is. Yeah, she's holding right around seventy. This, of course, is going to vary from city to city, and if you have a well from well to well. So that seventy psi is why, when you get a flush and fill kit, they give you one of these. You see that rubber in there? It's actually a uh, pressure reduction device, so you don't have to blow out your gaskets in your engine. Here's my pressure relief valve. Uh, you can see inside there. There's a spring that's adjusted by turning this on the end, and you can adjust. Uh, at what PSI it relieves at. This, key, this relief valve here I believe is 0 to 25 PSI relief. So the green hose is the input and the black hose connect to the output of the pressure relief valve. And we're going to see how much of that uh, 70 PSI we can relieve with this garden hose. We're going to see also where that valve is set at. Alright, let's see what happens here. Ooh. I heard it really. Here I've changed out the gauge to a 0 to 30 psi. Alright, you can see that uh, right now we got 20 psi. I'm going to try the adjustment on this valve and see if it changes anything. Oh, yeah, big time. That's it. Does it just stop? Yeah. So what does it go down to then? 12? Yeah, about... Uh, That's perfect, isn't it? It's not leaking? Yeah, about 12. Hmm. Let's see what the original pressure relief device uh, relieved at. It's down there. It sure is down there. Let's try a little adjustment on that. Back it off all the way. Ten, huh? Okay, here we have this pressure relief valve set at 15 psi. And just for curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and put the relief valve here where the water rams into it and the plug where the valve is now to see if the gauge changes at all. All right, here we haven't touched the uh, relief valve, and we'll see if pressure stays the same in the new position. It does. It and appears it, it makes no difference. <laughs> now the question is, are all gauges created equal? You can see here we have a glycerin felt gauge, you can tell by the liquid inside there, and this one is non-glycerin filled. I question this gauge because the needle's at two and a half. Let's see if they read the same total pressure. It appears that our glycerin filled gauge is two and a half higher than the non glycerin filled. So I'm thinking this gauge is uh, two and a half on the high side. Input. Hose connection, relief port, output, another pressure relief port.